Are you in a monogamous partnership and thinking of opening up your relationship? Well, you may be too late. Welcome to Sex Talk with Jojo Bear. I'm Jojo Bear, somatic sex and intimacy coach. And welcome to the show. If you haven't subscribed yet, then get right on it, babe. Click on that button below and or you can check out my website at www.metamorphicembodiment.com. So, are you at the point where you guys want to take the leap and open up your relationship? Do you think that at this point, you feel like sex with other guys may be a good thing for you? Well, you may be too late. Now, several years ago, a mentor of mine told me a great story about being transparent from the beginning of any relationship. Now, my friend John wasn't your typical gym buck who lived in West Hollywood. He was tall, a little femme, a little pudgy, and is in his late 40s at the time. But he was smart as a whip, wise and compassionate. He was up late one night cruising online and connected with a man that was totally his type. A hot, younger, buff dude who was into these dominant daddy bear types. Now, it was late and he was horny, so he decided to play the role. The sexual banter went back and forth, with John really playing up the role that he was this macho master. Okay, so now the young stud showed up at John's front door and they ended up having sex. Yes, but John kept up his portrayal, giving everything this fellow desire. Now, after the romp, the kid was hooked. He wanted to see John again, which was great, but then he would have to act the part of something he wasn't. And he did. Several more times. John went into the character to perform a role that, although may have been hot for one night, wasn't really his truth. Finally, after several times of the charade, and after a couple of moments to reflect that he had begun to have feelings for this man, John decided to reveal the truth. Now, it turns out the guy decided he couldn't handle that. John was this queenie, bookish type who really didn't want to be in the master top role. So, the guy split. Now, John had to lick his wounds, but he learned a pretty profound lesson. Be transparent from the beginning. So, what does this have to do with open relationships? Well, plenty. Many gay men want to eventually find a partner. Some don't. That's not what we're talking about here. But what I'm talking about here is the ones that do. Sometimes we meet a man while we're single and he fills all the boxes, right, of what we're attracted to. If there's chemistry, then there'll be a connection. Although I have noticed something that exists in my own personal journey and for the men that I work with, the honeymoon period. That stretch of time where everything is magnificent. It's the duration where all the endorphins are elevated, phone calls are longer, and the desire to be around this person is so paramount. It's also the period of time where some will overlook the red flags. That duration of time where someone is most likely to not tell the truth. Perhaps it's a lie of omission or po possibly just lustful thinking that has clouded one's reality. Yeah, conceivably you didn't tell this man your truth. What I mean is that if, if one has thoroughly explored his own personal values and needs, then he can determine whether or not monogamy is for him. Now what I'm talking about Really being ready for being committed to being sexual with just one person. Now, before you get all worked up, let me explain. I'm not talking about being polyamorous. That we'll talk about for another episode. As men, especially as gay men, we're all very sexual in nature. Sex is about exploring and experiencing. In many relationships between two men, there comes a time when sex takes a back seat. Now, this may happen as soon as the end of the honeymoon period. These relationships reach a point when sex with the same person becomes redundant and the sexual sparkle is absent. Now, when both men, or maybe just one of them, 
are determined to be monogamous, but sex is not happening between the two, then things become very uncomfortable. It can be frustrating and even end up with the two resenting each other or even splitting up. Even though they have maybe bought a home together or gotten married, now at this point they may be willing to try something new to fix things or decide to open up the relationship. But it may be too late. Now remember, this is only my opinion based on information that I have been through personally and I've seen in others that I've worked with. But let's get back to my West Hollywood friend, John. His story was not about being transparent with someone because he was so enamored that he made a decision to not be authentic with his true self. Yes, he may have done it because he wanted to get laid, but it isn't any different than meeting a guy who you will eventually fall for. You really don't know each other at first. Even if you are a Facebook stalker, you can't get all the emotional information from someone. So all I am putting out there is that in order to be in a relationship with another person, you have to be transparent. If you are a man who likes having sex with many men and have done that for most of your adult life, you don't magically change when you meet Mr. Right. That's a fable. Plus, that is giving another human being too much power. It's a big expectation to put on someone's shoulders. So open relationships are about practice, especially working on oneself way before a relationship is created. I remember personally doing a relationship inventories with one of my mentors after I had become in another yet botched romance with someone who lied better than I did. <laughs> he said I was, he said he was monogamous, so I went along with his plan and I found out he wasn't. So I retaliated and fooled around his back. Jealousy, insecurity, and a lot of arguing happened. I made a list of all my romantic relationships, added the names, what I resented in the relationship was usually the other person's actions, and then what was my part in it. Yeah, I had to review my part in the relationship. And it was really thorough. I observed that I had been painting such a pretty picture of myself and given myself what I call the resume factor. I only ever told the guys who I was with the stuff I wanted them to know. And that typically made me appear as a saint or a victim. This is similar to writing a resume where not everything's 100% factual. Now, after doing this relationship inventory and seeing my part, it was gut-wrenching. I was not a victim. I was just incapable of asking for what I needed. And what I needed was the freedom to let my partners know that even though I was interested in him and that I wanted to date, I prefer an open sexual relationship from the beginning. And maybe I couldn't necessarily be committed to just having sex with one person. Now you see, when there is some clear clarification of what you really need, then you can work from there. It is necessary to create boundaries around open relationships, which will be different for every relationship. It also allows you to have personal freedom to be able to express yourself. Now, what's really ironic is that many men who get into open relationships from the beginning tend to end up not having as much sex in general because it's allowed. Now, men who are in monogamous relationships and end up cheating can feel a great deal of shame and create a spiral of not telling the truth to your partner or even yourself. Okay, so here's the biggest thing men talk to me about, jealousy. And trust me, I will do a whole episode on this. Jealousy is something that comes up in all relationships, but navigating it when you are in an open relationship should be dealt with head on by not sitting with it. Discussing jealousy in a calm conversation, I recommend not doing it during an argument. 
but just not holding on to it. If you can say, I'm jealous, it stops being that negative thing. It becomes what it is. A sign that you may need some attention or reinforcement. You know why? Because you're human. Then on the flip side, don't shame your partner for being jealous. Jealousy could mean they need attention or had some expectations that they didn't communicate properly. It happens. It may be a sign that they need to work on better communication. So, do you think you can handle an open relationship with your man? Is that even possible? Well, one thing to remember is that if you are honest, communicative, understanding, and remember the values that you have underneath it all, you may have a chance to have a beautiful partnership. No open relationship is the same, so you get to co-create your life together as needed. I, I recommend finding support like other men in successful open relationships, doing talk therapy, or working with a sex and intimacy coach like myself. So what do you think about open relationships? Are you in an open relationship? What is your journey around open relationships? I'd love to hear from you. So. You can either comment, make sure you subscribe, or check out my website at www.metamorphicembodiment.com. My name is Jojo Bear. Thanks for watching this episode. See you soon.